Start of Chapter 2 8 Irrefutable Arguments Number 1. Father and Mother Moses had a father and a mother. Muhammad also had a father and a mother. But Jesus had only a mother and no human father. Is this true? He said, Yes. I said, Darum is Jesus near Sus Moses near. Mar Muhammad Isus Moses. Meaning, therefore Jesus is not like Moses, but Muhammad is like Moses. By now the reader would realize that I was using the Afrikaans language only for practice purposes. I shall discontinue its use in this narration. Number 2. Moses and Muhammad were born in the normal, natural course that is the physical association of a man and woman. But Jesus was created by a special miracle. You will recall that we are told in the Gospel of St. Matthew 1, 18, Before they came together, Joseph the carpenter and Mary, she was found with child by the Holy Ghost. And St. Luke tells us that when the good news of the birth of a Holy Son was announced to her, Mary reasoned, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man. And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Luke 1.35 The Holy Quran confirms the miraculous birth of Jesus in nobler and sublimer terms. In answer to her logical question, O my Lord, how shall I have a son when no man hath touched me? The angel says in reply, Even so, Allah createth what he willeth. When he hath decreed a plan, he but saith to it, Be, and it is. Holy Quran, chapter 3, verse 47. It is not necessary for God to plant a seed in man or animal. He merely wills it, and it comes into being. This is the Muslim conception of the birth of Jesus. When I compare the Quranic and the biblical versions of the birth of Jesus to Reverend Dunker's, the head of the Bible Society in our largest city. And when I inquired, what version would you prefer to give your daughter, the Quranic version or the Biblical version? The man bowed his head and answered, the Quranic. In short, I said to the Domini, is it true that Jesus was born miraculously as against the natural birth of Moses and Muhammad? He replied proudly, yes. I said, Therefore Jesus is not like Moses, but Muhammad is like Moses. And God says to Moses in the book of Deuteronomy 18.18, 18, Like unto thee, like you, like Moses, and Muhammad is like Moses. Number 3. Marriage Ties Moses and Muhammad married and begot children, but Jesus remained a bachelor all his life. Is this true? The Domini said, Yes. I said, Therefore Jesus is not like Moses, but Muhammad is like Moses. Number 4. Jesus rejected by his people. Moses and Muhammad were accepted as prophets by their people in their very lifetime. No doubt Jesus gave endless trouble to Moses and they murmured in the wilderness, but as a nation as a whole, they acknowledged that Moses was a messenger of God sent to them. The Arabs too made Muhammad's life impossible. He suffered very badly at their hands. After 13 years of preaching in Mecca, he had to emigrate from the city of his birth. But before his demise, the Arab nation as a whole accepted him as the messenger of Allah. But according to the Bible, he, Jesus, came unto his own, but his own received him not. John 1.11 and even today, after 2,000 years, his people, the Jews as a whole, have rejected him. Is this true? The Domini said, Yes. I said, Therefore Jesus is not like Moses, but Muhammad is like Moses. Number 5. Otherworldly Kingdom Moses and Muhammad were prophets as well as kings. By prophet I mean a man who receives divine revelation for the guidance of man, and this guidance he conveys to God's creatures as received without any addition or deletion. A king is a person who has the power of life and death over his people. 
It is immaterial whether the person wears a crown or not, or whether he was ever addressed as king or monarch. If the man has the prerogative inflicting capital punishment, he is a king. Moses possessed such a power. Do you remember the Israelite who was found picking up firewood on the Sabbath day and Moses had him stoned to death? Holy Bible, Numbers 15.36 There are other crimes also mentioned in the Bible for which capital punishment was inflicted on the Jews at the behest of Moses. Muhammad too had the power of life and death over his people. There are instances in the Bible of persons who were given gift of prophecy only, but they were not in a position to implement their directives. Such of these holy men of God who were helpless in the face of stubborn rejection of their message were the prophets Lot, Jonah, Daniel, Ezra, and John the Baptist. They could only deliver the message but could not enforce the law. The holy prophet Jesus, unfortunately, also belonged to this category. The Christian gospel clearly confirms this when Jesus was dragged before the Roman governor, Pontius Pilate, charged for sedition, Jesus made a convincing point in his defense to refute the false charge. Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight, that I should not be delivered to the Jews. But now is my kingdom not from hence. John 18.36 This convinced Pilate, a pagan, that though Jesus might not be in full possession of his mental faculty, he did not strike him as being a danger to his rule. Jesus claimed a spiritual kingdom only. In other words, he only claimed to be a prophet. Is this true? The Domini answered, Yes. I said, Therefore Jesus is not like Moses, but Muhammad is like Moses. Number 6. No New Laws Moses and Muhammad brought new laws and new regulations for their people. Moses not only gave the Ten Commandments to the Israelites, but a very comprehensive ceremonial law for the guidance of his people. Muhammad comes to a people steeped in barbarism and ignorance. They married their stepmothers, they buried their daughters alive. Drunkenness, adultery, idolatry and gambling were the order of the day. Gibbon describes the Arabs before Islam in his decline and fall of the Roman Empire. The human brute, almost without sense, is purely distinguished from the rest of the animal creation. There was hardly anything to distinguish between the man and the animal of the time. They were animals in human form. From this abject barbarism, Muhammad elevated them in the words of Thomas Carlyle into torch bearers of light and learning. To the Arab nation, it was as a birth from darkness into light. Arabia first became alive by means of it. A poor shepherd people, roaming unnoticed in its deserts since the creation of the world. See, the unnoticed becomes world notable. The small has grown world great. Within one century afterwards, Arabia was at Granada on one hand and at Delhi on the other, glancing in valor and splendor and the light of genius, Arabia shines over a great section of the world. The fact is that Muhammad gave his people a law and order they never had before. As regards Jesus, when the Jews felt suspicious of him that he might be an imposter with designs to pervert their teachings, Jesus took pains to assure them that he had not come with a new religion no new laws and no new regulations. I quote his own words. Think not that I am close to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill, for verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one little shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. Matthew 5, 17-18 In other words, he had not come with any new laws or regulations. He came only to fulfill the old law. This is what he gave the Jews to understand, unless he was speaking with the tongue in his cheek trying to bluff the Jews into accepting him as a man of God and by subterfuge, trying to ram a new religion down their throats. No, 
This messenger of God would never resort to such foul means to subvert the religion of God. He himself fulfilled the laws. He observed the commandments of Moses and he respected the Sabbath. At no time did a single Jew point a finger at him to say, Why don't you fast? Or why don't you wash your hands before you break bread? Which charges they always levied against his disciples, but never against Jesus. This is because as a good Jew he honored the laws of the prophets who preceded him. In short, he had created no new religion and had brought no new law like Moses and Muhammad. Is this true? I asked the Domini, and he answered, Yes. I said, Therefore Jesus is not like Moses, but Muhammad is like Moses. Number 7. How they departed. Both Moses and Muhammad died natural deaths, but according to Christianity, Jesus was violently killed on the cross. Is this true? The Domini said, Yes, I averred. Therefore Jesus is not like Moses, but Muhammad is like Moses. Number 8. Heavenly Abode Moses and Muhammad both lie buried in earth, but according to you, Jesus rests in heaven. Is this true? The Domini agreed. I said, Therefore Jesus is not like Moses, but Muhammad is like Moses. End of chapter 2